welcome back to another video. Today we will be painting a wall and let's see how it goes. So to start off, we wanted something Bob Ross inspired and after looking at all these references, I knew the general idea of mountains in the background, some type of body of water right in front of it, a pretty sky with some clouds, and then I was confused. So then I thought of maybe making like a creature and that is going to be my creature or a tree. That's the sketch. And then we started clearing up the space. We as if an I, my sister was just watching me do all the work. But to be honest, it wasn't that hard. There was just a lot of water bottles under the bed. And then I started putting the tape and finally she stepped in to help me out. That was nice of her. Um, we figured out that we didn't want such a tall wall area. So we cut off the sides a little. And here is the blank wall I will be painting on. Now, one last step for prepping. I have paint all over the carpet, so this time my mom was like, put plastic under it. Now, transferring that sketch that I drew on the wall. And um, I realized that basically the sketch only has a mountain and like one land area near the surface. That's it. So I really don't know how this is gonna go. And here is me hopping on to that Instagram trend. So if you follow me, you've already seen this video. Go follow me. Link is in the description. Now some satisfying paint videos. Listen to this. Yup, super satisfying. Then I started directly applying the paint. And I started in the wrong place twice, but that's okay we move on then i started adding more color shading for this guy and yes this is a makeup brush it works amazing when you're doing painting another thing is this wall had a lot of texture so i had to go over it multiple times for it to have no white spots visible Here is the finished sky. Now starting with the mountains. And here are the finished mountains. Then I started working on the water and the water had somewhat the sky reflection. This part was actually super easy because it's just blending the sky colors together. Then I started adding details to the mountains. I used a palette knife just to look cool, but it doesn't really look that cool. So then I went with the brush again to add more details. Now I'm adding a patch of yellow. It just brightens up every other color. 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 <laughs> so now it's time for the mini flowers up front and they're going to be purple and pink. Time for the creature. That is definitely not what a dragon sounds like. But I finally decided to draw a dragon and the place is in the sky, not up front. But I think it'll look nice. Let's see what the final piece looks like. And here is the final painting. And now it's time for the satisfying tape peeling. Yup. And 
that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel for more content. Thank you.